Remember to always have a beer when you're uh, boiling crawfish. That's, that's a must, it's a necessary. It's actually illegal if you don't. Hi everybody, Isaac Toops here, chef and owner of restaurants in New Orleans, Louisiana. Toops Meter and Toops South, come see me. Here at Vice Munchie Studio, cooking up crawfish. That one bit me. Garlic up, onion down, let's go. All right guys, we're gonna prepare our onions. Now this is a real rustic adventure, so I'm not even gonna worry about peeling my onions. This is uh, deep south cooking. I'm gonna leave the ends on especially so I don't want the onions to break apart and go all everywhere willy-nilly style. Set those aside and then we're gonna make our super sauce. So we got a little white wine vinegar and a little lemon juice. And this is gonna be our acid that's gonna balance out all our juicy seafood. Add a little handashi. If you can't find this, don't worry about it. Uh, this is a little concentrated freeze-dried fish stock. It's gonna add some wonderful umami to the situation. We're not gonna use all of this in our actual crawfish cooking. We save a little bit for dipping. Almost, oh, perfect. Man, I'm good, it's like I did that on purpose. Take our shaker. Now you could put this in any pitcher device you got, but you got to be able to hold your fingers over it because you don't want to dump it all at once. You're gonna to want to sprinkle it. So if you got one of these fancy shakers, please utilize. Oh, man, Ooh. oh yeah, buddy, I know, I touched your weenie. So how do you tell the difference between a male and a female crawfish? So they have their feet down here and the very last foot, or not so foot, is their reproductive organs. And you notice that the ladies is feathery and uh, flimsy while the males is uh, hard. Now you know, and knowing's half the battle. The other half, violence. Now that our water's boiling, we're gonna add a good bit of salt. Want it nice and salty and a good bit for our Cajun seasoning, y'all. Yeah. Gonna mix that up with my small strainer. Add our onions. I'm gonna get that water nice and seasoned. Gently place the potatoes in. 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 I'm gonna bring this back to a boil. Now, in Cajun country, young Cajun uh, boys and girls like to do a thing called the Cajun earring, and I haven't done this in a while, but uh, you, you, you simply, Put the crawfish on your ear and let it pinch you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hurts. Don't do this at home, kids. No, I'm I take it back. Really do this at home. Th th this will really make your pants excited. Well, Chef Isaac said I should take a live crawfish and put it in my nose <laughs> and let it pinch me because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, my dad used to give the farmer 20 bucks and would fill the back of his truck up with corn. So several times I'd have to peel a lot of corn. Thanks, dad. But I figured out the trick. So you would sit in the back of the truck with a cane knife and you simply cut off the top and then pinch the top where the, um, the little frills meet and pull it straight down. So you don't have to worry about taking any of the hair off. It just comes straight down. See what I'm talking about? This is chef hacking corn right here. Boom, boom, break that off, give it a little rub, and you got clean corn. Give, it a, give them a break in half, and you're ready to rock. Now, everything's been boiling for seven minutes now, our onions, we're gonna add our sausages, our garlic, bay leaves, and corn. Cook for seven more minutes. Check, make sure our potatoes are cooked before we move on. Perfecto. What I'm looking for when I stab the potatoes is they're cooked all the way through, because now we're gonna move them to the pot and put them in the ice chest, or Lexan in this case. Be very careful, this is obviously hot and it's already starting to smell real good. Now we've got our vegetables out. I'm gonna add our crawfish. Now, as a common courtesy to Mother Nature and all this wonderful bounty, I always let a crawfish go because I'm a sweetheart. The rest of you, unfortunately, aren't very lucky. Good night, sweet prince. If you listen close, you can hear them all scream in unison. I'm just joking, that doesn't happen. Back to the burl. 
And while we wait for these crawfish to ball, I'm gonna show you some Cajun games. They're not all dangerous, just mostly. Bring your foot in. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that our bugs are boiled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's good stuff right there. Make sure they drain really well. Don't want any excess water in here. And now that we have one layer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle a good bit of our Cajun spice on. We're gonna splash it with our vinegar and lemon juice and dashi. More spice. And the last of the juice. Important part, don't skip this. Hold tight. Make sure the lid is on good. Give yourself a good. Couple violent shakes. Shake it left, shake it right, shake it to the side, shake it up, shake it up, shake it down. Be an idiot. And this will redistribute all that seasoning on that spice. And due to the laws of thermodynamics, yes, I'm going there. When you heat things, they expand, and when they start to cool down, they shrink. So what's happening is all that spice and all that good juice is being sucked up by the crawfish. Look at this Cajun boy doing sides. I'm all fancy. And now we wait for 20 minutes, and every five minutes, we're gonna give it another couple of shakes. Reduce that seasoning all over. You really can't do this too much. Now for the big reveal, crawfish dumping time. All right, y'all ready to eat some crawfish? Show you how to peel them. First you pick one up while it's way too hot. Separate the crawfish head from the tail. Give it a good snap. Suck the juices out. Pinch it all the way down. Move the first top layer. Wrap it all the way around. Pinch the bottom from underneath. Remove the crawfish. For a description of the recipe, click the link below. You won't be disappointed. There it is. There it is. Oh! Ah! <laughs> that does hurt! Too much, let me know. I'll tear them off. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, 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 the toughest one! 